Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the match preview. Everton versus Boreham Wood FA Cup fifth round tie. 8-15 Thursday night. Goodison Park. Under the lights. Under the lights. What a night. Joined by Mike in the studio for this one. Uh, you looking forward to this? A little break from the pressure of the Premier League? I am. I am. I'll be honest. I actually am looking forward to it. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing Patterson. Yeah. I want to see Patterson. Yeah, I really do. Yeah. Um, no, I, I, I'm looking forward to it because it's just, look, we haven't won a trophy for God knows how long. It's a good, good opportunity to walk in the quarter final. Um, so yeah, I, I don't want to. I don't want to take them too lightly. Um, but you know, if, if if we apply ourselves properly, we sh we should be looking to uh, to get in there, get in there comfortably. So yeah, no, looking forward to it. I think it'd be. Uh, you know, decent atmosphere and, and, and something we can go to, like I say, just a little bit more relaxed, hopefully. Yeah, that, no, I totally agree. I mean, listen, they've been, they're on a fantastic run, aren't they? They've Bournemouth. I watched them the last round against yeah, Bournemouth. So they were I, brilliant. Yeah. They were great. Yeah. Um, but you would like to think that if Everton, well, if Everton do apply themselves properly, they will win and they'll win comfortably. Yeah. Because, you know, as good as they've done and, and as resilient as they are, they're a National League team. Yeah. And Everton are a Premier League side with with you know Premier League level players. So I think it's all about attitude and aptitude in this one. I think it, you're absolutely right. The biggest thing for me going into this one is to see Nathan Patterson. I mm. think he'll 100% start the game. Yeah. I don't think there's any question about that. I think Mikhailenko will start if his, if his mind's yeah, okay. Yeah, well, you know, yeah. Pep's yeah. already said that Zinchenko's going to play for City this right, week. Okay. And I expect Mikhailenko to play. And it'll give Frank Lampard an opportunity to to um to play the both of them. Yeah. You know, a full back position, which I think it'll be good. I think it's needed. I think um get ninety minutes into Delhi. Get that can't can he cut that? Oh no. And this is the problem. This is the problem. Oh, of course, yeah. Speaking at the weekend with a couple it's of the people. Carabao like, where you can just chuck him in, you know, isn't just it? Just have a But the Champions League. The Champions League. Like Luis Diaz played every game for Porto. Yeah. And moved to Liverpool and played for Liverpool last week. Yeah, yeah. In the so and that's like the, the premier club And then you trophy. can sign in January. Sign and in January and play, can play, and play in the, the group stage. In the final the of the Carabao Cup. You know, so it's, I don't understand. Yeah, like, it's old fashioned, isn't it? It just hasn't changed. And yeah, it's, yeah. it's the one thing for me that, well not one thing, the FA Cup can do a few things, but it's, I think this needs to be changed. Even if they went, well you can't play in the next round. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, you yeah. sign January and the third round, you can't play until the fifth round. Yeah. Or, or, you can't play against the team who you've either signed from or you've already played against, whatever. I just think Something like that. But play. it's nonsense. You've, yeah. you've got the players. It's like, realistically, Frank Lampard would have loved to have played El Ghazi yeah. and Delhi in this one. Yeah. And he can't because, and obviously well, Donny van der Beek as well. Back in the day when you had all that cup tie stuff, was, there was no transfer windows, was there? It was in March, wasn't it? And it was brought in. It was brought in to do stop signing for the final. To stop signing for the semi and the final. Yeah. That was the only reason it Which was is brought in. What Liverpool managed to do, like I say, with Carabao, I understand the cup tied, but mm. still bringing in players from yeah, abroad yeah. to play. So, in a, in a cup I mean, final. there was always you were always cup tied, but that was the reason with the transfer windows were brought in. Yeah. So to stop players doing that, and they threw that in as a punishment. Um, anyway, and I just don't. To me now, the way the games move on, I don't yeah. think it's needed. I It'd be an ideal lap for him as well, wouldn't well, it? Well, it's, mm. how's Delhi ever going to get 90 minutes? Yeah. Well, he's not, is he? Because he's, he's got well. El Ghazi. So it, it's costing people the opportunity to play, and especially, I think... But it's costing... It's got, well, El Ghazi played 11 minutes for Villa at United yeah. in the third round, and that was it. But it's just also it's, it's devaluing their own competition as well, isn't mm. it? Mm. You know... Those players, are, you know, some good name players exactly, to, yeah. to come and perform in this game. So, yeah. But he hasn't got them, but obviously Patterson and Michalenko, I think, can play. There's a lot of buzz around Rhys Welsh, who's been trained the first team. There's yeah. some indication he may be in the squad on Thursday, and he's obviously an 18-year-old yeah. centre-back, big lad. Um, and it's whether or not you want to you wanna risk him by throwing him in in that position. <laughs> but if he's, we can have five subs. Mm -hmm. So if the ideal situation for Everton from an not from a Boreham Wood perspective, yeah. from an Everton perspective, is if if Everton were to get three 0 up, say with half an hour left, yeah. then you could blood them in, into the side and yeah. say like go and get yourself get your debut and and get yourself some minutes on the yeah. pitch. And it's a nice fill up then for him for the rest of the season. So oh, I've played in the first team, I worked hard and I got in. And, yeah, you know, and it, what I think will be dead interesting will be 
how he approaches this Frank Lampard. He's already said in his press con sorry, his post match conference after City that a few players will play in this who haven't been playing. Yeah. Patterson being one of them, I think it was alluding to anyway. It's how many how many changes you can make to change everything? Do you put she had play Pickford no matter what? hundred percent, yeah. You know, but <clears throat> it wouldn't surprise me if Begovic plays. Yeah. Then you go on Patterson and Michalenko, so your full backs are changing. And then what do you do with your centre backs? So I'd have I'd have Keane and I'd have Bramthwaite. Mm. Okay. Um and then I do I do think you don't you know, we're down to two really like First, yeah, centre course, back, so are, you've yeah. got to probably protect that a little bit. Um, midfield, the so you've geez. got Van der Beek who came off with cramp. So, what do you say? Do you say you're playing again, or do you say you're sub? Oh, we can't, he anyway. Can't he's out. So, he's another out, one. Sorry. Yeah. So, then you've got so Alan's got to play. So, you go on Alan, mm, and you've got what the core, who's just come back from an injury. Do you go Andre Gomez again? Do you go totally mad and go, well, Tyler on Yangle, you're starting. You know, or do you say to Holgate? I must say you can play move. See, so it there's is, the conundrum. Yeah, isn't it? it is. It is a conundrum. conundrum. I think, um, I, I think probably the the safest thing to do is probably go Alan Decore and hope that you get in that comfortable position where you can withdraw them from the game because you can't make too many changes then because it's then it's disjointed mm. and then it becomes a battle because. Yeah. They're nice and resolute. They'll play their strongest team. They you all know, know we, each other. Yeah. Oh, and if you're not scored, then all of a sudden players are having to put more in and it yeah. becomes a bit edgy and you don't want that. No. So there is a balance where you've got to either go... I think for me, the, the, you obviously, like you say, the, the, the left and right back, you bring in, but fundamentally, we brought them in thinking their first team level sort of players, haven't we? Albeit they're not quite at that level at the moment. So the risk level from them should, should be minimal. Um the midfield options are absolutely limited, aren't they? Yeah. Um, so I think if you play, it depends what formation you're playing. Um, but if you're playing a 4 3 3 again, mm. I don't know who the third one is other, other than, you know, do, do you look at maybe bringing Townsend and playing them a left sided midfield thing a bit deeper? Mm. Alan Decore and then going for a, for a front, front three. And, and, and then what do you do with the front three? Because I imagine Rondon will play. So. I personally would would have Richarlison, Gordon and Gray and get the goals and get them off. And I okay. think those lads also could do with it in the back of the net. I was going to say, and that, and that was my point there, he was going to be, you can make all these changes and go Rondon because he, yeah, you know, yeah. he'll have to play and you can give Lewis Dobbin a start or yeah. whatever. But ultimately, if you're Richarlison and you're Anthony Gordon, Gray maybe to a certain extent, although I'd understand that Gray was just sub. It was like, oh, I want to play. If it was me, I'd be going, I want to play. Yeah, yeah. I want to yeah. play, I want to score. I want to try and get a hat-trick. Yeah. I want to get my goals up because I want to start feeling confidence, confidence again yeah, and, and getting that. Or if you're Anthony Gordon, you're like, well, I've got, yeah, I've got three goals. I want to get more. Goals and goal, assists. Goal, and I want to get involved. Numbers. So yeah. he has got it, I think, find that right balance. I don't think making nine changes. No, I, I, I don't I, think, A, I don't think Everton are good enough to do it. No. Regardless of who the opposition are. And B, I don't think it does anyone any favours. No, no, I, I just think with with the five sub situation, I think it, it allows you to get that game won, you know. And and you, hopefully you're looking at it in that half time, you're two or three up, and you know, ten five ten minutes into the second half, you can you start making them changes, yeah, and, yeah. and you know, be nice to get Dobbin on the pitch, um, you know, Rondon obviously, you know, putting in the work and chain and give him give him some more time, get him yeah. on get him on there, you know, and. And at that stage, you can you can change about what I'd like it to be that way round, and not oh god, we've got to bring them on. Yeah, um, no, you better go as much as you can. You better go on full strength mm. and getting the job done as early as possible, and then making the change. Yeah, um, because otherwise, but I must admit, I can't call exactly what I think he'll do. Mm. Well, I again, if we're early in his in his management as well, we yeah. don't know what what way he goes with it. But I think you've got to try and be as, you've got to pay these loads of respect. They're in the fifth round of the FA Cup. So it doesn't matter whether I, I they're not I also think league. as well we we've got to, like we don't we've got <laughs> it's a good chance to win a trophy. It's, it's momentum though, mm -hmm. isn't it? We just lost the home game Saturday, so let's get the win again. Yeah, yeah. Let's keep it going. So it's you know if we win on Thursday, he's had four home games, he's won three of them, and he's yeah. lost to the champions. Okay, that's decent. Yeah, good performance. Get a few goals yeah. and, and then go to Spurs with when we won our last game, but in the quarters of the FA Cup. Yeah, you know things are like bubbling along. And stuff. Yeah, you know, so you do have to. He does have to get this balance right because yeah. these. I watched them defend against Bournemouth. Bournemouth were third in the league. 
when they played them. Now, mm. everyone's gone Bournemouth to batter them four or five nil. They got they defended brilliantly. They got the goal and then they defended brilliantly, but rode but, the luck. They oh, did, did ride they, the luck. Listen, I mean, we, we, of course they will. But what I'm saying is, side, if they're in the fifth round, what, yeah. they rode the luck. But fair play. Yeah, yeah, no, hundred percent fair play. But again, that that's where you know our fans need to not go into this too sort of taking it too easy, but also not going too stupid. But they, they can see no, a no. lot of chances and yeah. and. and they, you know, uh, Bournemouth have missed them, but no, I, I, I'd like to see a real strong element of that team, mm-hmm. and then and then get them off. And I think Patterson, Michael Enko coming in, in, in my head, I'm hoping doesn't actually make it any weaker. I'm hoping it, it makes it stronger because otherwise, it why have we bought them? Um, mm-hmm. Branthwaite coming in for either of the centre backs again. I, I don't really think that's weakening it. Mm-hmm. Um, Pick for that stick with, and I think you need you need some leaders, some calm, calm yeah, heads. Yeah. The irony of talking about him being a calm head, but he is nowadays. Um, it's that midfield, isn't it? Well, Andre, I, I don't want to see Andre. Gomez. No, but <laughs> if you actually thought about it, Andre Gomez should be able to play in this with his slippers on, shouldn't he? He should. He's got the physique. He's got the control. He should be able. No, to. he should be able to. Yeah, no, he should be able. And to, he played well at Hull in the third round in against yeah. the whole league opposition. You know, he, he yeah. had a decent game. I think it's a game, it's a game for Townsend as well, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Well, they're the ones who were bobbling around the first team, aren't they? In and out, so he yeah. could get in and, and do but Townsend would be professional. And he's professional, he works yeah. hard. And he can get one in, yeah. can't he? So, so. Um, for a, let's have a look at their danger man, Boreham Woods' danger man. Let's have a look. It's Josh Rees. Uh, he's had 30 appearances, he's got 10 goals and one assist. So, into double figures, one in three. That's not bad. That's mm-hmm. not bad at all. They uh, they had a one nil win at the weekend. They beat Eastley one nil at the weekend. Um, I think we've got their formation. What they play as well. Let's have a look at that. So last time out, they played three at the back. Uh, no, yeah, three yeah, at the back. Three four one two. Three four there. So you've got the whole thing, haven't you? The three four one two. So the two strikers, two centre backs, nice and you know man. Mm-hmm. You know, go man for man. Formation, up there, that's all right. So the three at the back. So you do want to be able to stretch them. Um, and Use really the pace and the width out wide. Get them, yeah, and that's it. And you'd hope that the likes of Nathan Patterson, you know, who should be making his full Everton debut, well, his Everton debut rather, yeah. and he played in the 23s, hasn't he? You know, really takes this this by the scruff of the neck. Yeah. You know, I think Frank Lampard said in his post-match, pre, uh, post-match press conference, we will make changes. And someone mentioned Patterson, he was like, well, the levels this today, so if you're going to get into this team, that's that's the level yeah, you've yeah. got to be at. Yeah, so he's great, got yeah. to go at it hundred percent. And yeah. I think that for, a it gives everyone an interest as well from our yeah, perspective. Yeah. Oh, well, let's have a look what he's like. Gives him the opportunity to put a marker down. It might yeah. only be boring Wood, who mightn't be the same level of Man City, of course, they're not. But if he's up and down for the ninety minutes and he's winning tackles and he's assisting, yeah. getting forward and getting into the box, Frank Lampard looked then and go actually. He's yeah. given us something we haven't got now, and it's in a game environment. Rather than trying to do it in training, yeah, where yeah. it's not quite the same. You see, even twenty the crowd crowd and all not, that. Not the same. No, and he was. He, listen, we won that game one nil. He set the goal up by getting forward. Yeah, it was a great cross. Great does it again? One. Does it again? And in this, then it makes yeah. Lampard think, and then think, you know what? I can trust him actually. Mm-hmm. You know, if Seamus is looking tired, we can make the change, yeah, or yeah. he can play. You know, whatever. And Different tactics as well, exactly. Isn't it? And the same at Michalenko on the other side. Get yeah. that left foot, the balance that left footer brings. Yeah, yeah. We haven't. We're not blessed with left footers in our team, are we? If he can get, if his head's on it, okay, and he can play, go and get have a real good game. Get forward, get balls into the box. Yeah. Build your confidence up. You know, and, and like, you're making a man. Yeah. You then go. I've actually got options here, rather Definitely, than. Yeah. The goal, I'm not sure about these two. These have played and done it. Yeah. And like I said, it's more important for me to just keep the momentum ticking over to go to Spurs. It's like, all right, we had a disappointing result against City, but we're back with a win and we're in the quarters and having the last eight yeah. of the FA Cup. But it's, it's that exciting excitement, isn't it? You know, we you want a cup run. You know, it's it's something always bubbling away mm-hmm. whilst whilst you keep you know um, keep the league form going and again to the last eight and the draw you goes kindly. Get a home tie yeah. in the last eight. You know, it's and you know, win that you've got to chip to Wembley, haven't you? Exactly. So. You know, it's and it, you know, we, it's not like we're, we're there all the time, is it? So <laughs> it's yeah, it's it's something I really I, I'm hoping he takes it seriously in terms of he obviously take it seriously, but in terms of Strength statement of, of intent at the start of the game, um, get the game done, mm. wrapped up, let's get the players off, um, you know, and then they've got a few days rest before the before they're down at Tottenham, and I think uh, I think that would be the best way to do it. Hopefully, he does. Um, and uh, 
what's the lad's name who's the Al Tony Ibbe fan? I knew you were gonna, I knew you were gonna put me on the spot. That'll then. be uh, that'll be interesting. But you're um, gonna put me on the spot. K, K, Smith, Smith. Is it K? Smith? Just Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith. Oh come on, you make Smithy. me look. Smithy. 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 Yeah. Good old Smithy. Yeah, no, but you know stuff like that. We obviously it'd be a great occasion for him. Mm. Um, Coming out there, and I think it'll, you know, for those players, for those boring world players, you know, it's shown them more respect as well. I think, you know, if, if I was playing, you know, non league football and, you, and you're going, got the chance to go to a Premier League ground, I'd like to be up against the best that they've got or, you know, a good combination hybrid of what Just they've to got. To see the level, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and, and, you know, and, you know, it shows you that, you know, you, you are getting treated with that level of respect. So, mm. yeah, I, I think we need to go at it, pick a strong side, um, you know. Again, as fans, I just think we go, I don't want it to be flat though, because we because we think we're going to win it. I want us to create that atmosphere I still, think, and I think, and I think the, that's where the manager can do that Patterson. by picking the strong yes. team and yeah, having yeah. Patterson in strong. Yeah, Cade Smith. Yeah, thought of Cade Smith. Oh yeah, yeah. Good old Cade. Cade. Yeah. I hope. Like, oh Kane. Well, I don't know what you're saying, Kane Smith. Kane Smith, the yeah. Tony Ebert and Evertonian yes. fan. Yeah. Uh, I think I hope he gets a great reception. And, um, I'm sure he will, yeah. And I hope we batter the mate one and he scores. Uh, so do I. So do no, I. but uh, you're right. Be professional. Be a tough game. Give them the respect they deserve. They've done incredibly well mm. coming in at where they come in after qualifying, get through, and, and they're in the fifth round. And let league. us buy in the kippy, the only charity we give them. Yeah, I, let's I, get I them win. Get respect them by battering them, yeah. like City did with Burton yeah. a few years ago. You give Absolutely. them ultimate respect by yeah. hammering them and going, we had to play at our best to beat you yeah. with that scoreline. And well done. And then, and I'm sure every Evertonian will then clap them off the pitch yeah. and all that, give them a great reception because they deserve it. And hopefully all their fans come and have a fantastic night. But, you know... Not too fantastic. Not too fantastic <laughs> for us. Um, so, yeah, there you go. FA Cup tie on Thursday. Great chance for Everton to get into the last eight, but we do have to take it seriously and professionally, which I'm sure the players will. So let us know what you think in the comments section below. How will Everton do? What does Frank Lampard do um, in terms of the team and who should he play? And if you're a Boreham Wood fan, are you looking forward to the game? And have you got a chance? Of course, you'll have to cup, cup tie and you're already in the last 16. So, of course, you've got a chance. Big thanks to Mike for doing it. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. And if you want more videos, join us on Patreon. Link is in the description. See you later.